In a world where Africans have lost their roots, it has become of vital importance to document our ways. In an effort to reverse the brainwashing of the past, where we were made to believe our ways are demonic, we are pressed to create dignified and respectful platforms to unpack our spiritual ways. Umoya o light, umoya o bright, umoya o nice, umoya o together, guys. We're having such a beautiful, beautiful run. Thank you so much for all your contributions. We see you. Thank you for liking and sharing and doing all the things. The channel is growing. We are one years old. It's exciting times. So, um, you know, as we keep going through the episodes, I'm sure you've noticed that we're all growing together and learning together and certain names come up and then we, we were connecting the dots. Uh, you have the privilege of having this university called Moya where um, you're getting information that we didn't get. So all this outstanding information in your history as a black child that is going to push you further so that you know who you are, so you're proud of your own heroes, so you actually get a real version of historical events. And one of the people's names that have come up is Utatu Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe. It's come up a lot. Um, he was the founding member of one of the founding members of the Pan-Africanist Congress. Um, and he keeps coming up, you know, as, as we're trying to figure out what's happening with ANC, uh, you know, what's happening with PAC. So now we're going to figure, finally figure out why it is that the system treats the PAC the way it does. And who was this Mangaliso Sobukwe, who was known as the only political prisoner in Robben Island. I've got an academic activist in the in studio today, Utando Lue Tuzanga. Um, he's one of the lecturers that you guys are privileged enough to have who are willing to have these conversations <laughs> and fix the black brain for the black child. And goes Tando Lue for making the time to, and goes, and goes, to be with us. Can you bring the mic a bit closer to you? To me, okay. Yeah, okay. so okay. of so we asked you to prepare for us. Um, who is Mangali Sosobukwe? Mm, mm, mm. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mami and Yabule Ragakulu, for having us and having me in your Moya platform. Si Pagamisa, Utumukmanyange, Siti Kamako, Kawale Luktula, for the work that you are doing. So, Yabule um, you, you You're asking me about a, a giant. Um, who, the wonder of of the world, he, as the name says, Umangalis. So you're asking me about that, and uh, <clears throat> as a as a as a person, I thought, let me give a little bit of a background before I can unpack who who Robert Mangalis or Sobukwe, Sobukwe is. Now, <clears throat> so, so South Africa is a is a is a settler colonial society. Yeah. No? And um, when the European settlers came into our country in this part of the world, um, they came with an intention and uh, to occupy, to steal, and to impose their ways of knowing. And <clears throat> and they found people who look like me and you, people who don't speak like the Europeans, people who don't believe like the Europeans, people who are not socialized. By the, the, the in the in the same way as the Europeans. Mm. Now, when they saw these people, the, these European settlers, they 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 then said, if these people are not like us, don't believe like us, don't speak like us, and they are not like us, therefore we must categorize them, and place them as a barbaric, um, non-civilized people. Nonetheless, they are still people, but they are non-civilized, and therefore they must be civilized. So they were categorized into that into that way. So we categorize them as we need to civilize them. Now, one of the things that happened in the civilizing process, it created two um, type of persons within the African community. Yes. One group was Amakaba, especially in the in the in the in the in the, in the Eastern 
Western Cape. It created Amakaba and Amakoboka. Now, these two people, um, even though they were they were also divided, they still did not meet the full um, civility level as according to the Europeans. So even if you were to become a, a civilized person, still you are going to stay where Amanyama Africa Ashala call. Then the European settlers will stay in the in the in the in the in the beautiful places and they would stay there. So so as much as you are divided, but you are still maintained as you still non civilized, but you are civilized better. If Mm Uli Kopok, we are civilized, then you are better than the one who has not converted to that European Christianity. Mm -hmm. Now one of the things that then showed its ugly head was the, um, I call it um, the cattle killing movement and the famine of yes. 1856 and 1857. Yes. <clears throat> now, it's one of the moments, there are many, but it's one of the moments that um, uh, showed the, the, the disregard of or the separation of ideas between the Africans. Now, there were those people who accepted the thinking and uh, they, they, they destroyed, they did what they were called for to do. Now, in doing that, post the two years, now the Africans, whether civilized or not, whether Kaba or Kobok, mm. you ended up being gay. <laughs> you, you, you lived in poverty. Mm-hmm. You were dispossessed. You had no uh, sovereignty as a people. Your polity was then destroyed. Now, these people then decided to say, let's go and look for a place to, to stay because we can't stay here. We don't have um, the form of subsistence and, and so on and so forth. Now, these Kosa people moved then around <clears throat> like Africans do all the time. Mm. They moved, went to an area that was established around um, 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 in, 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 in a Dutch East Indian place established mm. by these uh, European settlers. They find uh, the Basutu people as well. And uh, now these Kosa people and Basutu people, they join together, they establish a community mm-hmm. and they call that community Umasizaki. Okay. Now this community is in Khrafrenet. Now it's in the periphery of Khrafrenet. Now remember Abelung had created a, a, a dichotomy. So if you are white, European, you are a human being, you stay in town. Then if you are an African, you are non-human, you are uncivilized, therefore you stay in the periphery. So these people established a place called Umasizak. Now, meaning that we are building it ourselves. Now, Sobukwe is born into that type of a society, into that type of a, uh, a locality that was built by the Africans because... Um, uh, they went around looking for forms of subsistence and they found this place and then they, they decided, so, okay, we're going to stay here. Mm-hmm. And we are going to, we are building it ourselves. Now, later in the years, when Sovuka talks about his pan-Africanism, he talks about self-reliance, something that you promote all the time, the dependence on yourself and mm-hmm. the African people. Now, Usobuka gets born into that society. He, he's born into an environment of people who come from a zeitgeist of the Nungausa moment. Oh, my God. But he mixes up with the, with the Basutu people because also he, he traces his lineage into the, into the Basutu people. Now, when, when they, they stay there, he grows up into that. And he, as I said, born on the 5th of December, 1924, 2024 is the 100th year of his birth. <clears throat> oh, wow. Now, now he, 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 he's born into that environment, and um, he might not have understood the society that he is born in, but I think his, his way of analyzing the world later is influenced by the spirit of the times and the spirit of the people who came from the Nongausa moment and also these other Basutu people, then they join together as African people and they built um, the, the, the society. Mm-hmm. So, so, Funaganga, Abandu, Babini, Mistake, Yogi, Nafanba, Usoboko was born in Hrafrenet. 
no, no, he was not born in Khrafrenet because Khrafrenet was a, a European town. He's born into a, 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 a township called Umasizaki. So I thought, let me put that nice. thing as, as, uh -huh. as, as an important thing. Now, when, when he, he, he growing up, he's the last born at, in, in his family. Ngundondo, mm Ekai, Utatake, Uhebet, no, Mamu, Angelina. They were just uh, um, working class people, but they wanted the best for their kids. Now, because Ben Sen Chilondati, there is this development of Amagabana, Amagropok. Now, the Sobukwe family, the, the father and mother, had converted to the civilizing mission of the Methodists. So Sobukwe, by default, when he grows up, mm -hmm. he's a civilized Methodist. Mm -hmm. So Uli Kropoka, Lama Wesile. So he goes to school and then he's, he's, he's taught in the, in, the, in the local missionary school of the Methodists. And um, um, after that, by automatically, Gelakasha, if you were born into an area of converted uh, in Anglicans, you're going to study probably in a, a institution that is more supported mm -hmm. by the Anglicans. And um, so Sobukoyena is, is, is born into that and he studies into that type of an environment. Now, in, after passing in the local, there's no other better school that he can go to from Umasizake and even the, the Khrafrenet area. There's, there's no school. So the only available school that shares his civilized um, ideals of Methodists is 252 kilometers away from home. And this place is called the uh, um, Hilltown. Okay. Um, Hilltown at the time was the biggest black Methodist institution. Uh, in the sub-Saharan uh, uh, continent, in, in the sub-Sahara, in, 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 in Africa. So it becomes a, a it is a, an important environment. Now he gets there, Soboke gets there in, um, in 1940. When he gets there in 1940, he meets and he, he befriends certain people. When he befriends, one of the people he befriends is Dennis Sewisa and um, Utadu Usaimon Kubule. Now, Utatu Simon Kubule, many would know him as a, is a theologian and uh, is the father of Usistandega and uh, Ubuduma Kubule. So the okay. Kubule is the two okay. economists. Okay. So, so he befriends these people there. Now, he, he as a fresher, Sobukwe gets to love literature. He's, 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 he loves to read and, and so on and so forth. Now, with this friend specifically, who became a doctor and a reverend, Utatu Kubulu, Simon Kubulu, um, they, 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 they share something of history. They love history because they think, Uba, there's no person who can lead a society who doesn't understand its history and its, its understanding, I mean, its people and their experiences. Later, they see Usobuko is good in, in, in math, in, in, I mean, in, in, in performance, academics, and, 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 and he's good. Now, his friends, his colleagues, and his teachers, they, they, this is the thing. This is the thing that we need in this institution. They make him a head boy and a prefect. Now, when he becomes a prefect, you would know you went to a white school. Prefects would carry the ideals of mm. that particular mm. institution. So Usobuko would lead those uh, processes of, of showing discipline, ideals of Methodism, and, and so on and so forth. And when he becomes a, a, a head boy, he stays with U U Utatu Simon Kubule. They share a room together. Unfortunately, um, Hilltown Institution or Hilltown School today, there are, there, there are renovations that are taking place. And I, I hope that they will give mm. some form of recognition to that particular room like they did to other people who were staying in Hilltown. Mm. An example is Utad Mandel, Kholthal. Kholthal mm. was also there and the room that he was staying at has been um, renovated and it, it looks beautiful. Now, I, I would say the Eastern Cape government should make it a point to that room, the room number three in Hilltown should also carry the same Mm. Um, uh, importance mm. in relation to Sobuk, and especially that we are celebrating the 100 years mm. of o o o Robert Sobuk. Now, once they saw that he's good at what he does, he becomes the leader, he becomes the head boy, and even the principal says about Sobuk, remember there are many people who went there, who studied there, but they say about Sobuk, 
he was the brightest student they have ever had. So Mukwek then goes to Forte, and in Forte, again, he, his, his prominence rises quick, quick. And when his prominence rises, his, his friends recruit him into the, um, I mean, his friends and his teachers recruit him into the ANC Youth League. And again, immediately, Sobukwe jumps in. But at the back of his mind, Bongo Bombak, he wanted to be an academic. But then these politics that are taking place at Forte, Sobukwe is good in articulating the politics of not only the students, but the politics of the continent. He's, he's good. He leads. He becomes the president um, of the SRC. Now, in those movements, he, he meets the love of his life. And Sobukwe was a romantic. I love, I love Sobukwe, and I love how he, he, he shows his, his romanticism around his, um, his wife. And, and I've prepared something because I wanted to capture it correctly. Now, when Sobukwe talks about his wife, when they meet, they, they meet in, uh, in, 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 in Forte, um, but he now Ufunda in the, in the nursing college. Mm. She's, she's studying for, 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 for nursing. Now, Sobukwe meets this woman, Uzondeni Mate, a Zulu woman, which Sobukwe never knew up until later in life that, uh, because he didn't care. He's, he was more African than than a, a Sotho or a, a Kos. Now he says, when he talks about him, he, he, when he talks about his wife, my wife is not just a wife or just a mere wife to me. She is everything to me. And she says this when he's asked about uh, his, his beloved friend, Upotla Golibar, and he's, he's asked about Libalo's behavior and how Libalo treats his family and so on and so forth. So for, for Sobukwe, Umamu, umamu Mamu Sobuko was a, a, a very important, an important person. And in 1963, after Sobuko has been arrested, and um, uh, remember he's arrested in 60, 61, he's in jail, 62, he's in jail, 63, he's still unsure about Uza Pelelap. He writes a letter to his beloved wife. And, and he says to his beloved wife, uh, Uti, since my future is so uncertain, I thought I should take this opportunity to tell you just how much your love and courage means so have meant to me all these years of my incarceration. And then he closes this part of the, the letter. Remember, Sobuko was a, as a, as a English uh, le, le, literature scholar, or um, he, he, he loved his literature. He closes it and he says, you know, my wife, the human spirit is a queer thing, but my darling, thank you for what you have done for me. Now, now it's 1963. And he plays with these beautiful words, my darling, human spirit, the queer. You, you see, if these days, the, using the word queer to mm. define the human spirit might be seen as a, a, a provocative and mm. problematic. But Sobuka uses it in 1963 and uh, with, to, to show a particular mm. expression and uh, um, affection to, to the wife. So for me, I, I also want to raise this to say um, Sobuka was a hopeless, hopeless romantic, and he loved, <clears throat> he loved his, uh, his, 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 his wife. Everybody knows that Sobuke joins, uh, he becomes the, the, in the, in the, in the ANC Youth League. He gets into the ANC Youth League and, um, again, they develop and, and, and they promote the mass-based type of organization now in the ANC. Uh, remember, majority of the time, the ANC was elite, the, the civilized group, and the, the, so they didn't want a makaba per se. They they always mm -hmm. wanted the the the, the makoboka type. So so as much as being a makoboka na but also book, but then they bring in a new dimension of mass based, <clears throat> and also the intellectualism. They they bring this element, this high regard of intellect in 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 the ANC Youth League, and that spills over to the mother body. But now, when the the, 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 the mother body that is the ANC now takes certain decisions in the 50s. Sobokwe and his crew are unhappy about the direction with which the ANC takes. Then within the ANC, they establish what they call um, the Africanist, the Africanist group, and they, they have a, a newspaper to speak their ideas called the Africanist Bureau. And um, so they've got this. Mm -hmm. So what, what happens is 
Sobuko graduates, he goes to Standard 10. Remember, Sobuko wanted to be an academic. Sobuko yes. wanted to be a professional. He didn't want this politics thing. In Hilltown, they saw a leader in him. You know, he still didn't say a leader. In Forte, his comrades saw a leader in him. He didn't say a leader. Yes, he was participating, but at the back of his mind, fundamentally, he wanted to be an, an intellectual and an academic. Yes. So he goes to Standard 10, a, a beautiful place that I think the South African historiography is neglecting in relation to the story of, of, of Usobuk. Mm. So he goes there and he teaches for some few months. He loses his job. Now, when he loses his job, he has to now come back and stay in, in full. Now, stays with the, with, the, with, the, with the wife and the kids and, and all that. Now, while he is here, he says, instead of me waiting for the job that um, I'm, I'm being, go, I'm going to be offered at Vets University, because Z.K. Matthews writes a, a beautiful uh, letter for Soboke to be regarded as, as a staff member in, at Vets. So Sobuka takes a decision and he says, okay, for now, let me go and join my comrades, so the Africanist group in the ANC, and I'm going to be an editor of their paper. And he says the reason why he saw this paper was, uh, was too raw. It, it lacked, that's what he says, he says it, it was too raw, it lacked intellectual uh, uh, capacity. <laughs> so no, his comrades. He felt his comrades did mm. not have that. that <laughs> being a good clever. Yeah, that's that's what he's, he's <laughs> saying. But so, no, it it lacked that. And um, so he then says, "Let me go, use my intellectualism because I want to be an intellectual. I don't want to get involved in the front, and the rest to lead whatever that they are leading. But me, I want to be uh, in 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 the back. So I'm going to 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 drive." the intellectual aspect of the, the, the Africanist group. Now, he, he becomes an editor, he accepts this because he wants to be an, 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 an intellectual. But when he becomes an editor, now his name pops up into this newspaper that they have in. And the detractors of the Africanists, instead of attacking the content, they attack the book because he is the editor. Now, he says in the late 70s, when he talks about that period, when they were attacking him, Uti, um, I decided when they were coming for me, I decided I'm not going to keep quiet. I'm going to de defend myself. Now, by defending the positions of um, the, um, the, the, the Africanists, that brought him back into the fore, something that he has been running away from. But fate seems like it had accepted and wanted him to be the leader mm. of the African people. Because at Hilltown, that reflected, at Forte, that reflected. Even now, when he comes and works at, um, um, at Vets University and it becomes the, 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 the back man or the behind the scenes man of the Africanists, it still pops up that he must, he must, he must do this. Now, that's how then he comes into the fore. That's how he, he comes again and become this um, um, prominent, prominent um, person in the, in the Africanist uh, group. Because his friends saw Uba, he was very intellectual, a great person. Now, enough about this particular history aspect of, of Sobuk. I thought it should, it's, it's also important that I should... Um, um, tell your viewers or talk to your viewers and share some of Soboko's ideas. A few days ago, you had Utata um, Ukoko Obrima Jake, mm. ne? Um, and he spoke something which I think it would be relating to, to this. Um, one of the ideas Zaga Soboko and his comrades um, is, uh, was that Africa was the cradle of humankind. That that's was Soboko's idea. And he, he believed in that. And therefore he said, if you oppress the Africans, those who birthed humanity, you are oppressing the world. And when you liberate Africa and you liberate the Africans, you are actually liberating the whole of humanity. Mm. That's one of his, uh, his, his ideas. Mm. And that's what he promoted even in his, in his politics. Also, Sobukwe said that uh, there, was, there was an inevitable clash between... He calls it hierarchical, hierarchical folkism. I don't know how to, to pronounce this mm. word, but it's white domination. 
He says, white domination, remember I said, when the white people, Europeans came into this part of the world, they imposed their ideas. Now, Sobukwe says, this white domination aspect, it has, it is going to clash with African nationalism. Now, Africans clashing with this, and once they clash, they produce a new type of a society, a society that is more um, human. He calls that human uh, Africanism. He calls those, mm. he, he, he does not dislocate Africa from humanity. That's why mm. he calls it the new humanity that will come out. It will be Africanism. Now, this idea that Sobukwe raises, Steve Biko raises it later. And, uh, and I know a majority of people, especially in, um, in, um, in the academy or in, in, in academic environment, they always want to promote Steve Biko against Sobukwe and or want to make Steve Biko as if he comes from the sky or he, mm. his, his ideas were not influenced by something. Mm -hmm. but, but, but at some point, there were ideas that he got from Sobukwe. Now, Steve Bigoyena saying the same thing, but he says there is a white supremacy and he then says black consciousness. Now, Sobukoyena said white domination and African nationalism. Now, both of them, they, these two clash, but they will produce, Steve Bigo says, a, a true humanity. Sobukwe says Africanism, which is a humanity mm. so so you find these these mm. ideas on on on, on steve Biko, mm. this Sobuka idea promoted by Ubra steve later in the in the in the early 60s uh i mean in the late 60s and early early 70s mm. another idea yaga Sobuka is that Sobuka never believed in the division of africa so for him south africa was not separated from africa and it is not africa <laughs> Like, where are you, mm -hmm. bro? You are in Africa. Mm. So Sobukwe never believed in the, 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 this bastardization of uh, South Africa being an exceptional environment. So for him, mm. Africa was one. And if Africa is one, it cannot be um, separated or it cannot be divided. Mm. He also had this idea of the love for his people. And he believed in it so much that he said, leaders must lead from the front. And this, this, this belief, which I criticize him for, could have been the cause of the demise of the organization he started, the PAC, because the majority of the leaders whom were leading in his formation got arrested. And uh, now they then had to run after they were released from prison and, mm. and so on. So, so that might have had an impact, but his, his decision around loving his people, he was willing to sacrifice himself uh, for the people. Now, Abandaba Nancy, this idea of sacrificial lamb, they only know it from um, Joshua Ben Yosef or U U Jesus Christ or U U Jesu Nyanaga Maria, we understand. But some of us, we've seen it in Sobukwe, mm -hmm. where he sacrificed himself. He made himself the lamb of... of uh, the, the African people. Mm. One of um, another idea which I find fascinating is um, Sobukwe loved democracy. He loved democracy, but then he had a problem, seemingly, because as I read him, he had a problem with how people view democracy. You know, when when the classical definition of democracy would be <laughs> a government of the people mm. by the people mm. and for the people. Mm. And sometimes you ask, who are these people? Mm. Like, why are these people undefined? Mm. Now, it makes it vague. Now, Sobukwe comes in and, and puts a proviso into the definition. And he says, no, no, no. The, the, the democracy that we want in this part of the world, in this country, it's the democracy of the African people, by the African people, mm. for the African people. Mm. Now it makes it easy for to to, to scientific to for it to become scientific, because once it becomes a democracy of the African people, it responds to the African people's needs. It is not an imposed democracy. Le, currently we have of a liberal democracy that tells you what type of democracy mm -hmm. that you must you must have. It's either you have five-year elections all the time. If you don't have, then that is not democracy. Mm. So Sobukwe 
makes it, he brings it into context. That's that's one of his ideas when he talks about uh, he talks about uh, democracy. Maybe the the last one, the last one in these ideas, he 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 he, he talks about the Christianity and communism in South Africa, and he says, you, you know, he seems he seems to love these ideas, ideas of Christianity because while it grew up, nonetheless, mm. and also he 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 seemed to love communism in 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 its ideal. But he says about these these two ideas, he says, South Africa has got bad representatives of those two ideas. Currently, we've got people who regard themselves as communist leaders in South Africa. But Sobuku had said they are a bad representation mm. of that idea of communism. Mm. Same as Christianity. Some Christian pastors, they are raping other Christian pastors. Mm. You, you, you get mm -hmm. so, so the idea that Sobuku said about 50 years ago, 50 years later, it still makes sense to us about um, Christianity having bad representatives, communism having bad repre repre representatives. Mm. Now, now let, let me, these ideas, all of these ideas that Sobuk, they he lived by them. He was an honest person, but then they also created a problem and made it easy for the settler apartheid government to to oppress him and 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 um, keep him in jail in in perpetuity. Hmm. So Sobuka was never released in jail. Sobuka was arrested. He handed himself on the twenty first of March, nineteen sixty. Okay, you're gonna have to go back a little bit because we got up to where you said he was um, now the editor. Yes. 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 So how does he get arrested? How are we getting to here? Let, so what? Okay. Let, let me take, he, remember they, he becomes an editor. Mm. They take over this. They, they, they disagree with the ANC. Mm. The ANC establishes what is called a, a process of, uh, Oh, so um, the disagreement has started now. It, yes. When in, he's in the fifties, when he's, yes. Okay. When he's an editor there, yes. it, it's, it's already blown up, but you know, he's not in the thick of things at the time when this thing is happening because He's he's working at um, at Vets, yes. so he's at the back of this editing. So, but he's yes. he's pushing, he's yes. pushing the yes. things. But but the unfortunate thing is, he has to defend his ideas. Now, when he defends them, and the processes of the years continue, 1953, 1954, 1955, it blows up. There's a clip down charter that is adopted, the Freedom Charter, and uh, again, Sobuko and his crew are not happy about that. Okay, so what was happening? They were like, um, they were not happy with the policies gradually. What was the... Um, in, the, the disagreement comes from, remember Sobuka comes from the, the, the Youth League. Yes. Youth League establishes and puts a policy position mm. in 1949. It's called the Program of Action. Mm. Now, the policy itself defines the strategy of how to engage um, in the struggle as African people. And one of the things that is put there is to say the leadership for liberation in the liberation movement must be that of the Africans. Mm. And Europeans and European settlers must be at the back mm. because they have a tendency mm. uh, of wanting to impose themselves. Mm. But also at the same time, Sobuka says the psyche of the African at the time wants to look at this this white person and think that they are better than them. Mm. So bias disturb basically. So, but let, let us run our liberation as Africans. Mm. Now, when the, 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 there's decisions now to mass base protest at, at, a, at an African-centered approach, it's called now, they, they take an African nationalist ideal. Uh, uh -huh. Everything is more African yes, in orientation. Yes. But then the ANC, um, which is the motherboard, it's got its own leadership. It decides to say, no, 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 we are going to go a conglomerate of some sort with Indians and with the <laughs> Communist Party. Who's leading that time? Um, um, Dr. Abi Kuma. Okay. In the ANC. Uh. Now, now, then there was this pact of these three doctors. Now, who, who, one of the persons that I interviewed um, was, was telling me about the importance of doctors at the time in the 50s. Uh. When you became a doctor, at that time, everybody thought that you were intelligent, even though you are a doctor for general practitioner. So they thought 
So you were an important thing. Now, this pact was made between Dr. Tum of the ANC, Yusuf Dado of uh, the other party, and the, the other one. I forgot the, 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 the other one, but there were three. Now, there was this conglomerate of these people. They decided now to say, let us build a form of a multiracial orientation organization and the fighting of apartheid must be fought on the multiracial element or multiracial ideal. So Bukwe disagrees with them and he says, but to say multiracial, you are multiplying racism. There should not be something called multiracialism. It should be non-racialism. Now he mm. teaches them, remember he's an intellectual. Today, everybody speaks about non-racialism, but mm. majority of people don't locate within the Congress movement where could the, that, 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 Narrative. That concept and mm. that narrative came about, and also at the same time, then they they, they develop this. There's this um, uh, freedom charter that is developed. There's a lot of contestations around it, but the the Africanist group disagrees with the fundamental, the primary point in the freedom chart that says South Africa belongs to all who live in it, black and white. Now Soboko and his group are saying, no, 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 no. The politics of our country and politics in general are not about the race and color, but they're about the material interest and the spiritual interest of the individual. Because these people, for them to subjugate us on the racial element, they started by being, they took the material base of our society, economics, the land, and, 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 and everything else. So to want now to build a society that is, um, you, you, you only deal with the issue of race as a primary it is problematic but also you can't um, uh, sell the sovereignty and the control and the ownership of the africans territory which is south africa to everybody other than the africans themselves so he he, he him and his group they disagree on that with that freedom charter and they never reconcile with it forever they went to to their graves non-reconciling with that idea. Unfortunately, there are people today who call themselves um, um, Pan-Africanists and uh, they, 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 they move within the Pan-Africanist fold, but they seem to have uh, accepted that particular line of uh, South Africa belongs to all who live in it, mm. black and white. So it becomes tricky. So that's how then the disagreement comes about. And, uh, and, it, and, and there are other policies as well. After 1955, all hell broke loose. By 58, it's clear that they're no longer moving together. Within the ANC, then by 59, Soboko and his crew, they start the PAC. And when they start the PAC, they started on the 4th, 5th, and 6th of April, 1959. Now, the 4th, 5th, and the 6th, specifically the 6th, was the day on which the three ships of the European settlers landed in the shores in the Cape. Now, the, the, the PAC and Soboko's crew were saying, there are these ships that arrived here as early as 1652 and established themselves. Now we are establishing or we are building a monolithic ship. That's what he, he they referred to, the PAC. We're building a monolithic ship that wants to collide with that white domination that came with those uh, with with those mm. ships now everything that he does after that even his ideas they develop on the basis that he wants to collide and collapse white domination and white superiority even when he goes to court in court he says to the judge that was uh, after he got arrested with his comrades and um, um, the, the, the why were they arrested um, the, the arrest comes in uh, in the establishment of um positive action campaign 1960 there's this past campaign that they do um and um, they 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 do it on the 21st of march 1960 now so makes this call to say everybody must go and um, <clears throat> and um, head, leave your past home and let the system arrest you why is this possible why is it why is this thing going to work it has worked with Nguma in 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 ghana because Nkrumah made the same thing, the positive action campaign. 
And Subuku was a Nkrumahist. He loved Nkrumah like nobody's business and he believed in him. So the strategy adopted by Nkrumah was also adopted by Subuku because PAC and Subuku, there was that um, infusion of ideas between, between them. Now, there were various places where these things succeeded. Subuku went to Orlando uh, police station. There were another group led by Nyakane Tsulu that was in, uh, in, in, um, in, in Ferriana Hang in Sharpville. Then there's a lesser known group that was in Hercules in Pretoria. Mm. It was led by uh, Elias Nkloadibe. Mm -hmm. That Elias um, th That is also another group and in, an interesting dynamic there. So all of them, they got arrested on that day because Sobuko had said, once we, we, we fill the police stations with, with us, because we are the mm -hmm. backbone of the economy, we'll cripple the economy, we'll cripple the, the system, and, 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 and on the basis of that, then these ones are going to be forced to come and negotiate with us as the Africans and African leadership. And we are not going to seek for bail, we are not going to seek for any sympathy, we are not going to plead or otherwise. So the arrest emanates from that. But then the charges are for subversion. And because there was these communist, anti-communist laws that were, 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 were enacted. <clears throat> Actually, who, who advocate Ngoito, writes a beautiful article about those those laws and how that that process um, unfolded but importantly when Sobukwe is 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 in court with his comrades he first he 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 first doesn't want to be in the front but then his comrades know him he's good at what he does they said no you'll speak for, for us now they don't plead the first thing that he does he says that these people are not leaders some people here are not leaders. You, you do, so release, you, you said we are the leaders. So we are the leaders, release those who are not leaders. And secondly, we're not going to plead guilty or not because you are an illegitimate government. We don't recognize you. We can't come and you think you are an unjust government, a minority government, a settler colonial apartheid government. And then you want us to come and beg for mercy on mm. you. We're not going to do that because we don't believe in this um, white supremacy mm. tendency. So this was the reason of, of his arrest. So from the 21st of March, 1960, Sobuke never got released. 21st of March, he served his three years in Pretoria Central, what you know now as Jose Mampur. And after that, he was then, then there was a decision to make a new law for Sobuke specifically. It was then called the Sobukwe Clause. It's popularly known as Sobukwe Clause. So he was then rearrested while he's in prison. He was he was rearrested, recharged, and then taken to 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 Robin uh, Island. Robin Island. Now in Robin Island again, he is separated so, because he's very dangerous. And these European settlers who were leaders of the society at the time, they said about him, Sobukwe is a heavyweight, and he's the only political prisoner. And the reason why they wanted to separate him, they said, he seems like he's been driven by this higher calling. There's this higher calling that, that he has that makes everybody just do, do resonate around, around him. So, so I hope I'm able to answer this question of why he gets arrested and why am I saying he's never released? When he is um, banished uh. to to the to the can to to Kimberley. He's still not released because he's under uh, banishment, some form of a house arrest. Mm. He only meets one person. He can't meet um, even the the meeting with the Oput Steve Biko. It's it's only him and they meet on that basis and and everybody else. But Sobuke shows his 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 ability he shows his 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 acumen as an honest person and a person who loves his people in in kimberley now when he stays in Khalishiwe, people there they called him Umalume. he walked around this this he he had uh, then acquired his 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 legal uh, qualification he was then a lawyer established an office a a a a a, a an, an rm Sobuko office legal office Hmm. And he helped the majority of people pro bono. He represented people in, in the courts of this country. And um, he was always seen amongst the people. 
even there in 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 Khaleshi, he was seen amongst the people mm. and um, in the late 70s I'm, I'm i'm told that majority of young men in Khaleshi were named after Sobok. that's 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 how great he was so there was always this 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 um, um alignment with the Sobok name so people were called mangali so Mm. Mangaliso there, this Mangaliso there in Khaleshi because mm. of the impact Yaga 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 Robert Robert Sobok. Mm. And and uh, another important aspect is Judge uh, Mohor, Yvonne, Yvonne mm. Mohor. Um, Judge Yvonne Mohor is uh, is um, understood to have been influenced by Sobok to 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 take legal studies. Mm. And Judge Mohoro is a is a prominent judge, and she's known by many, and she's she's been great at what she does, because um, but he, she she when she was a wanted to register for nursing or whatever, and then but Sobogo said no 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 opt for this particular direction. Now Sobogo was so great, so influential, um, and he was involved in a lot of things. But strangely, in 2024. Um, there's nothing that says this is the voice of Sobuk. Yeah. Which <laughs> is no, why we're having video. this podcast, this, Angit. Yes. Because mm. there isn't a shred mm. of history on Robert Sobuk. That, that, that's, that's very tricky and that's very... It's, it's, it's a, I think it's a decision that was made deliberately. Of course. And, um, and, and it continues. And unfortunately, like Christianity and uh, communism, the disciples... Let me put it correctly. I don't want to say something bad. The people who are supposed to be the representative of Sobukwe are actually the bad representatives of Sobukwe. And on the basis of that, it becomes difficult for the push to make a dent into the, into the system to demand these particular issues that we need. Because Sobukwe was in the courts in Kimberley. Sobukwe was 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 videorized. Sobukwe was uh, interviewed. Sobukwe was uh, Sobukwe was huge. Sobukwe was big. To show that Sobukwe was big, when he speaks in 1963 in the Rivonia trial, his performance, the performance that he makes in 63, Sobukwe had done it in 61. <laughs> when when he talks about um, and uh, uh, fighting or he's fought black domination and white domination. So we got, didn't, so we got clearly stated that we are fighting white domination, period. So, so, so even, even the, 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 the burning of the buses by the leaders of the, the, the Congress movement, the charterists, it, it happens after Sobukwe had made the call. So by the 1963, when the Rivonia trial becomes this big thing, there was a big case that started in 1960. This, the Sobukwe and his crew case. But again, in the South African historiography, it is being uh, um, hidden. It is uh, put and, and, and placed underneath, not only by the people who are in power or those who have got, but those who are the representatives of Sobukwe themselves, they failing to promote mm. the Sobukwe ideals and 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 ideas. I I'm 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 also partly to blame in 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 a way, <clears throat> but um, um, all I'm saying is Sobukwe has was was big. Sobukwe was great. Mm. Sobukwe was uh, you, your father. Surely, when he talks about Sobukwe, mm. his 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 eyes. And light up. Mm. Um, th there are many people when they talk about prof, they, 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 they. So to make an example, it's like if um, in ten years' time, there's absolutely no footage, no interviews, no history on a Julius Malema. Yes, yes, it it is something that could be similar to 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 that, but but what is an advantage with the the te technological era? is that now people are able to develop their own archives yes. like you are doing, yes. like I also do yes. and, and the yes. others. And um, you see in the, the EFF, they've got their own 
platforms that they do. So they're developing their own mm. archives around mm. these things. So those who are in power might hide it, but the owners of the archive can then uh, bring it in the fore. Mm. But in those days, the majority of the archive video recording and, and so on and so forth mainly was controlled by by the state and private private individuals. It was just corny areas where like Abotado or Fred Kumalo and others who would then take pictures mm -hmm. and make those pictures their personal um mm -hmm. archives. You, you, you see. Mm -hmm. So so that's the that's the dynamic around around the, the Soboko. So issue. with that is the reason that the PAC is so um, marginalized and oppressed linked to the fact that it's part of the erasure of Sobuk? It, it, it could be possible. One can argue in that way. <clears throat> in, 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 I'm going to raise mm. this critically in, 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 in twofold because I don't want to make a, an uneducated input. Firstly, there are times when you see that um, um, the, the, the PAC is, is eating itself like it's a snake that eats its own children. Mm -hmm. there, there are times when you see that and mm. you, you, you reflect it. And in the history of uh, the, the organization, fortunately, I'm, 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 mm. I'm, a, I'm a historian who reads mm. and studies and researches on the PAC. Mm. You see it in the history of the PAC that the PAC eats its own people, its own children. Mm. Yeah? That's, that's one aspect and it is the reality. But also over years, on the other side, there is this, this understanding that PAC, even in its formation, was viewed as a problematic organization. And uh, in 1963, there was a judge called Sneiman. Uh, I think it's Henry Sneiman. Mm. <clears throat> when he made a, uh, it, there was a commission that was established after the Poker moment. Um, the, he said the, the, the PAC was a cancer to society and it must be removed from society. That is one aspect. Now, as the liberation proceeds from the establishment of the PAC in 59 mm. and going forward and then Sobukwek is in jail and somebody else leads and acts and others and, and, mm. and, and all this jazz taking place, there were also international dynamics that were taking place there was um, a group of people who were sponsored a motivation or a, a proposal sponsored by the Cubans um, and the USSR, that is the Russians at the time, to, to, re, to recognize a particular groups of liberation movement in, in Southern Africa. Now they called that a proposal for the authentic six. So there was an authentic six liberation movements that were identified as the representatives of the people in Africa. Mm. So these authentic six included in South Africa, it was the ANC, in uh, Namibia, it was the Su Swapo, in, um, in, Mo in Zam Zam Zimbabwe, it was, um, it, it is, is it Z Z Z Z Zapo, I think. I might be incorrect in that one. And um, in Mozambique, it was the Frelimo. And uh, in Guinea-Bissau, it was the PAIGC, and, and, and so on and so forth. So there was this particular um, recognition of a particular group to say, these are the people who are the correct ones, the authentic liberation movement. Mm. Now, now what, what you've seen over years, this might be a, um, an un- a speculation, mm. but what you see, all those who were non-authentic, post-liberation, they never survived. Mm. All of them, I'm saying all of them. Mm. In, in, in Namibia, the, the Swano mm. is dead. In, um, in Zimbabwe, the opposite, uh, the opposition party led mm. by uh, Utatunkomo, dead. Um, the opposition of uh, um, Koremo in, in Mozambique, Aik, Kuko, Ifrelimo, and uh, the Renamo, whatever the case might be. Now, in South Africa, the prominent one is the, the ANC. All those who were regarded as the authentic, 
But the difference now is that the, 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 the PAC as the, as the brand is still not dead, mm. but the organization might be problematic, yes. might be suffering. But the brand itself, it, it, it does not, it does not yes. want to die. Yes. You, you get my point. Spot on. Yeah. So, so, Spot on. So, so I, that's why I was saying, I don't want to make an, an, an unscholarly submission in this. I want to raise all of these issues together so that people can make their own conclusion in mm. relation to, to, to the PAC. But also at the same time, there were some elements of uh, miscalculations by the, <clears throat> by the, the PAC leadership. In, in 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 the past and now over time you can see there are a lot of miscalculations even mm. now going forward and 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 so on and so forth but but Sobukwe remains the epitome of greatness and nobody even to today the politicians of this country there's nobody who can um, meet the standard of Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe yeah. in this country there's nobody who can meet that standard Wow, thank you. I, I don't think we've left anything out. Oh, there is something because mm. the public holidays, what well, June 16th, okay. okay. <laughs> well, you know, all the ones that have been hijacked by ANC, it must be made known. Um, um, you, you, you see, yes, again, when you mm. empower you, you make certain decisions. Mm. There is a, 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 the 21 March is known as a, a human rights day. Mm. Yeah? Um, but that day was um, <clears throat> was a was a day which the PAC confronted a settler colonial apartheid, and it wanted to destroy it. And it was led by Soboko and his his uh, his colleagues, and it was led by the PAC, and it was the beginning. It it showed the world the cruelty of uh, apartheid South mm, Africa. Mm. That is one. And that day for. The the, 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 the the PAC and those who are honest and truthful, they know that that day must always be understood as a Shabville day mm. because they, they believe, and I also believe that by changing the name, you are removing the essence. Yes. Yeah? You're removing the essence. Yes. Um, there are also other days um, where they have been You've got days of reconciliation. Mm. You've got heritage days. Mm. You understand? In the African memory, those days are not only heritage day mm -mm. and reconciliation mm. day. They are Tingan's day. Mm. They are Shaka day. Mm. They are this and and and, mm. and that. They 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 are an important um, reminder mm. of the kinds of people who were before us, the Sobukwas of this world, mm. who wanted to destroy white domination mm. and bring in a more Africanist or Africanism, a more human en environment. Now, when you are in power, you've got every right to, uh, you've got every capability to, to change things. When you're in power, you can even switch off the lights. Yeah. And, and people would just say, what what can we do and make stage six during EFF manifesto? You, you understand? You can do whatever <laughs> yeah. because you are in charge. Uh, you, know? you you can you can also when you are in power you can also raise interest rates. You can you can just mm -hmm. decide to do mm -hmm. whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Now Sobukwe always believed in in the in the power of the people. He was he was a people's person and he always said, "Show the people the light, and they will." take the initiative that was his own way he never wanted to impose himself as a as a as a god as a savior of of the people he believed that the people themselves must um save themselves now if you think of Sobukwe in those periods look at the people and the zeitgeist of the earlier years that i started with the people of umasizaki the people who said we are going to build ourselves. And Sobukwe was saying the same thing in, in the later years. He said, people must liberate themselves. Thank you so much, Butando Luetu. You have demystified this man and now created a picture for a lot of people. Thank Please you. don't undermine what you just did Thank for you. us. Thank you so much for coming to Moya. Yeah?
Moya right? See, I got you. Now we know who Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe was, guys. I admit even me, some of the stuff I didn't know. And it's so nice now to have the picture of the man and the type of person he was. Oh, I love this podcast, guys. Most progressive podcast There's in something. the world. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> and we'll see you again next time. Thank you. Yes. Who are you when all you were has been diluted by lies and white lines cancelling out all that which has been written of your history? Why do you look at yourself as a mystery? Doesn't the sun shine because you open your eyes? Doesn't the moon stay situated within the same stars your DNA sparkles off? Your spirit knows that surely corner into it off. Buza umoya so you may return to being well off. Because spiritually you are rich, yet your ancestors cry because you are out of reach. But yours is to command all elements while God takes inspiration from the very mirror she looked at to become. Remember who you are and never finish just when they think that with you they are done.